today's look, we are doing a female stormtrooper. The first part, outlining where you want your white and where you want your black to be. Second step, I'm airbrushing the white. Next step, hand painting the black in. So our next step, we're gonna come in with some gray and do some detail work and create shadows. Our next step, we're gonna go in and gently outline with a little bit of black to make those shadows pop a little bit more. Next step, we are going to do the highlighting just to make it pop more and give it a little more depth. Our last step, the helmet, and that completes the look. The biggest challenge for this look is getting the dimensions to look like the white parts are popping out on the belt area. watch Star Wars every Christmas when it comes out. What better way than to pay homage to Star Wars with a Stormtrooper? This first design is C-3PO. C-3PO doesn't have any ears, so the first thing we're gonna do is put a bald cap on him. Next, we're going to base out the prime color. After that, we're gonna add on these foam pieces that I custom made to give that extra depth that we can't bring in with body paint. One thing that's difficult to do is to hide the eyes. So I'm making foam pieces to go over the eyes so that you can still see through. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I've actually made a custom stencil to save a lot of time. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the airbrush to add highlight and depth. This is gonna give the illusion that it looks chrome.
reason why I chose C3PO is because he's probably one of the hardest to do in a makeup because it's so detailed. I was down for the challenge. Look I'm painting today, it's a Yoda from Star Wars. First step, I'm applying the main colors, so I'm going with green. I will be using a brush and airbrush. Next step, I'm outlining all uh, wrinkles and shadows. I'm going over with uh, soft shades to outline the main look. Because this is a makeup illusion, I'm shortening out model's face to look like a, a round face of Yoda. And after, I'm going with a soft body paint to create shadows. I don't need to use airbrush for this because I'm using very soft brushes and dry paint to create this rustic, kind of old and wrinkled look. I'm going with highlights and more deep shadows and also build the character more well and more detailed. Final step, I finish in last touches. I'm making sure face looks amazing and looks exactly like Yoda. I made the ears for Yoda this time by myself. I used um, Eva foam for this, so you can cut any shapes out of it. I used the hot glue to create some texture. So last step will be only to paint them. I can use an airbrush or brush for this and use the same color matching the face. Last detail, I place in the ears of Yoda on the model and cutting out holes in the Jedi robe. Since this Yoda look very popular and everybody knows it, I worked hard this time to manipulate model's features to make them look like Yoda features. I love Star Wars, who doesn't? So this was my biggest inspiration to create something to trick your eyes. Today, I'm going to be body painting my all-time favorite Star Wars character, Boba Fett. Starting with moss green, I'm adding a base coat for the armor. Filling in the remainder of the body, I'm adding a grayish blue to the rest of the suit. I'm using a shield to block off the areas that I don't want any overspray.
And now using a base coat of yellow, I'm adding the yellow shielding on his shoulders. Using red and brown, I'm carefully adding the base coat for the belt. With a bluish black and a shield, I'm adding details like folds, pockets, and shading. Now using some pre-cut stencils, I'm adding the Mandalorian symbol to his shoulder and the insignia on his chest. Using silver and a brush, I'm adding battle damage all over the armor. Boba Fett is a loner and he's a man of few words, and because of that, I relate to him a lot. It doesn't matter who you are, you know that Boba Fett is the baddest character in the galaxy. On this May the 4th week, I thought it'd be fun to body paint one of film's coolest sidekicks, Chewbacca. Chewie has various colors throughout his fur, so I'm applying a gold base loosely throughout the skin. With darker colors, I'm applying freehand fur textures all over the body. With a little black, I'm painting around the eyes and on the nose. Now with some brown, I'm painting the bandolier. I'm making sure to make the edges crisp by using a shield. With a pre-cut stencil, I'm adding the silver blocks down the bandolier. The cool thing about painting the fur is it's very loose. I'm just trying to keep it in the correct direction that the hair flows. It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. She'll rip your arms out, kid. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for the newest makeup transformations from Beauty Wild.